Hi, this is Steve. Today I want to give you a quick overview over my latest SimHub overlay suite in version 1.2, talking about what features and overlays are new and what has changed since the last version. What you see here in the background is a short multi-class race in the M4 GT3 on Sebring I raced against the eye just as a showcase. Let's talk about features first. The big new feature of this version is what I called real delta times. AMS2 and SimHub's native way to display the delta between cars, either to the class leader or to relative cars around you, are basically based around a calculation relying on distance and speed. This leads to a huge issue that the gap in seconds you see constantly stretches up to multiple seconds up and down, depending if you're in a slow corner or on a straight. What I did is developing a solution that actually places markers across a lap and measures the exact timestamp when a car crosses the marker. This way I can precisely show how big the gap between two cars is without any artificial stretching of the gap between corners and straights. The second new feature is something I promised from the very start and it's finally here, time penalties. AMS2 does not share time penalty information in the shared memory SimHub can read, so I had to develop my own solution to measure if a car got a penalty. The time penalty will appear on the class leaderboard once a car crosses the finish line into the next lap. Since Synapse's own way to display cars around you has issues, like it completely ignores cars in the pit, or data sometimes is just not available until you reach the second lap of a race. So again, I wrote my own logic to check which cars are in front and behind you. Of course, there are tons of more changes, especially a huge overhaul of a lot of logic to reduce load on your computer. You can read all the details in the final patch notes once 1.2 goes live. So let's talk about overlays. For telemetry, you now have two options. The old one inspired by the C8 Corvette and a brand new one obviously designed after Le Mans Ultimate HUD. Both show the same important data from shift lights to fuel calculations and of course dynamically change to show you the features your car has like DRS, ERS, launch control, push to pass, you know it. If you want to track your tire and brake starters, next to the old basic tire monitor that just has some numbers in it, you now have a more appealing overlay to display your temps, tire pressure and wear. For the actual race you have the class and the multi-class leaderboard. The class leaderboard is the main element you should use since that are the cars that you're racing against. For timed races, once you reach the third lap it will tell you an estimated amount of laps the race will have. If you want to see the top 4 of classes you're not racing, you can add the multi-class leaderboard. The multi-class leaderboard does not display your own class, only the others. The leaderboards dynamically change for trainings and qualify to display the best laps and they even mark the best laps of the race in purple. One big overlay coming with 1.2 is the multi-function display. Make sure to bind the next and previous dash function in SimHub, then you can cycle between all informations you might need for the race. Relative positions are also available as a standalone overlay and, as mentioned, had a huge overhaul with how relative positions and gaps are measured. It will also display cars and laps behind you in blue and cars laps ahead in red, so you also see the blue flag status. In the multifunction display you can also see your tire status, the session information about weather in your car, timings, detailed fuel data and the setup of your electronics of your car. The weather information are also available as a standalone overlay if you want that. Have in mind you can't change values in SimHub, only see them, so you can't adjust your electronics in the SimHub overlay by clicking buttons, you have to bind buttons to do that in AMS2. And if you don't need the multifunction display at the moment, you can minimize it all the time. Let's talk about lap timers, again you got a new option with version 1.2. The classic lap timer gives you all information you need from gathering each sector of each lap, something AMS2 does not can out of the box, coloring your personal and best class sectors and lap times and even showing your potential and estimated lap times. If you don't need that much information, you can now choose the smaller lap timer, which just sticks to the basic information you might need for the race. This overly suit also includes its own delta monitor, it's just visually a bit nicer than the original and dynamically shifts between red and green to showcase how you're doing against your fastest lap of the race. For time attack mode, it will also display the delta to your personal best time you have on the time trials in a smaller bar at the bottom. 
For car damage you have two options to choose from. One that just displays pure values and a visualizer to show you the damage on a simple car model. Formula cars even get a nice little different display for that. Last but not least, the suit also comes with two input monitors. The first one is a classic graph you find everywhere on the internet, so you can check how clean your pedal inputs are through corners. The second one is a little helper for beginners that you can directly place into your field of view to learn how to trail brake and slowly add throttle on corner exits. Both input monitors also get updated to directly show your pedal input and not the filtered versions from ABS and TCS assists. That's it for version 1.2. Tons of hours went into developing this and I really hope you will like it as much as I do. Have in mind all of this is single-handedly developed by me, so there might be a few bugs here and there that didn't come up in the many hours of testing on my and other systems. Please report them to the proper topics on this overlay at either Overtake or Riser forum. Version 1.2 will release really soon and will be available to download at Overtake. So that's it for today. If you want, you can watch this video till the end to see if I was actually able to win this race or not. Have a good one. Left side. Clear left. Car right. Clear right. Car right. Right side's clear. Push, push, push. We can get this guy in the outer. Gun behind is increasing. It's now 0.5.
left.